Now, politics isn't usually a topic that I cover on this channel. In fact, I try and stray away from it for certain reasons. But today, this is going to be a little different. I've been thinking about doing this video for a while and decided that, yes, I wanted to because I am quite passionate on this subject. That is, today, especially, history is being changed and twinkered with by the present and largely, for the wrong reasons, political reasons. Now we have both left-wing and right-wing people doing this. They are pushing their own political agendas and twisting history to fit that and push their arguments. Whereas history should remain separate from the present, especially the present politics. The people of the past have nothing to do with the present's politics. In today's world, there is, like some people call it a culture war, where essentially there's a lot of political unrest and political hostilities between typically left and right. What's happening is history has become a victim of this current political minefield and is being corrupted by both sides and twisted and altered into something which it wasn't. And this is very problematic. What seems to be happening quite frequently is we are trying to project modern societal standards and idealised practices onto the past, onto the people of the past, which didn't live in a world where these societal structures existed. This is distorting history and this is a problem. You have uh, certain documentaries presenting historical people as something that they weren't. You have AI generative tools incapable of depicting people of certain ethnicities. What this is doing is changing our view of the past and influencing people of the present's view in the past into something that it was not. One of the most important elements of studying history is looking at the good and the bad, and changing it to fit what we deem as good in today's world isn't studying history, it's changing history. This is problematic. As soon as you start changing history, as even if it seems minor, it opens the door to way more changes which creates a massive domino effect, and soon you will not be looking at history, you'll be looking at what we have turned history into. And it seems that today, both political sides, left or right, do this to push their own political agendas. History has nothing to do with today's politics. You can make arguments that certain things influence today's politics, they certainly do, but using the Spartans as an example, they did not know what communism was, they did not know what fascism was, and frankly calling Spartans fascists is, is bizarre, they are not fascist. But what we are doing are picking and choosing and deliberately, and people are confessing to deliberately altering the sources to fit their own political argument. What is the point in, in choosing an argument to try and fight an argument by nitpicking and confessing to altering historical sources? That's not history. We have issues with this with, for instance, the Google AI, which was, for a time, I'm not sure if it's fixed now, um, it, w it would not show you a white person if you asked it to depict a historical figure. If you asked it to depict Abraham Lincoln, who happened to be a white male, and it showed you a black woman, that's not Abraham Lincoln. If you were asked to show Leonidas and it showed an Asian man, that's not Leonidas. These historical figures should remain separate from what we want to today as a society, or as at least some people in society want to push, History should be separated from that. You should look at history from what it was, the most accurate that we can, and acknowledge that there are certain parts of history that weren't good, which is an important reason as to why we study history, and that there were parts of history that were good, another important reason as to why we study history. This current altering and changing and fiddling with history to make it apply more accurately to what our modern standards are, is wrong. The past was not the present, and in a couple hundred years from now, people will be looking back on us and saying that they believe this, this is horrific, or they did this, this is barbaric. Just because we're the present doesn't mean that we're also the best of humanity. And what we're trying to do is change history to apply it to modern standards. The past did not have modern standards. What this is creating 
is a new history. It's not the past. Now, history and the past are two separate things. The past is actually what happened. History is what we have written down as what happened, essentially. What we're doing is deliberately, in cases, changing what we have written of the past to push a modern and current idea or political argument. This has massive long-lasting effects because it alters what we know of the past. If you keep changing it and you and people keep seeing it, they will believe it. And with TV and documentaries on Netflix changing historical aspects, minorly or majorly, they all have an impact on people's perception and idea of history. And history has become the victim of of the culture war. There is a massive, massive change. And again, it's on both sides. I'm staying in the middle here. There's both sides of the political spectrum are nitpicking and choosing and flipping history into stuff that it, that it wasn't to push a political argument that, that reflects today. It has no impact on the past. The past should remain separate from the present. We should learn from the past. We can say this didn't work from the past. This was bad, we think. We think that this was good. It becomes problematic and dangerous when you start to change the past in order to fit in with the present. The past and the present were two different things. We will, in the future, be the past, and we will have societal things that change from where we are today. And if you constantly change history and rewrite history to fit the present, then there is no evolution in humanity. There's no change. Humanity went through good and bad things. It's done good and bad things. It will continue to do good and bad things. And it's important that we leave those things untouched because they happened. And that's history. That's the past. And as soon as you start changing everything and rewriting stuff to push agendas and political opinions and support your own political ideas... You are corrupting people from the past and history in order to project them onto a very corrupted present. It's very disingenuous, I would say, to try and convert a 500 BC Spartan idea onto a 19th century idea. The Spartans were a unique culture that had aspects of what we now call communism. They weren't communists. And... What happens is you then go, well, during the Cold War, um, Russia was communist, therefore communism is bad, therefore Sparta is bad. Ancient Sparta has nothing to do with Cold War Russia. Absolutely nothing to do with it. But yet people are spinning these ideas and, and historical people into the present to attack them. And then it's happening the other way around. The idea that we as modern people can change the past to push our own agendas is just wrong. It shouldn't happen. It's dangerous because it changes what happened. It changes what's written down. It changes our perception of the past. And it will change humanity's perception of the past in the future because of what we've changed currently. And what this does is, is we're no longer studying the past. We're no longer studying history. We are changing it into what we wish it was, or we are changing it into something that we wish it was so that we can push an argument today that fits in with modern political disagreements. The people of the past were not the same as the people of the present. It's unfair to project society from today's standards onto the society of the past because people were never told that this was wrong, therefore a good person today may um, view certain societal things as wrong, and therefore from today's standards we would view someone as the past as morally wrong, but that person in the past never had those societal standards to base their morality on, therefore it's, it's unfair and disingenuous for us to judge that person. History is there for us to admire, history is there for us to share, history is there for us to learn from. History is not there for us to change and adapt and corrupt what we want it to be. History can be a great tool to improve us, to learn from, and also show us what didn't work and what we should not do. But what we should not do as a modern current people is change history into something that we wish history was.